Hey guys, here we are back on Wind Chaser uh, server. Mike's out spraying fields, and I just uh, dropped off the mower. Uh, just gonna head down to the dealer and rent the baler. Finish up bailing the uh, field the north part of 11. So we're in our 2015 uh, 3500 Duramax uh, spare Jake left in the field from the last time. So you see our nice merged windrows using the uh, version 2 of my uh, 334 merger. Kill the engine. So I went ahead and scaled this down a little bit. We got a nice view of town over here. Uh, we're just going to rent the big square baler. Uh, for an hour, we'll get our bales. Oh, I want to run to it. So I don't know if Mike is refilling or if, but he has NPK and his Patriot right now and I'd like to have him uh, be spraying herbicide A just because our nutrients are right where they're supposed to be for this growth stage and we're just trying to uh, up our moisture a little bit by spraying and then might as well spray some herbicide A because it's not that much more expensive than water. Um, and then uh, try to like hold off on any kind of weed population. So at the expense of uh, slightly increasing the um, pH of the soil. So this is just uh, regular grass.
we uh, planted field 20 to alfalfa and we've been really nursing it with the nutrients and stuff this field is just you know a grassy field that has no terrain you know plow texture to it So uh, I really like how tight these windrows are now with the version 2 and I like how um, there's a little bit more uh, ability to control your side discharge and you can lift up and you just can make it really nice and clean. Um, works flawless in single player. Multiplayer still has a little bit of issues with like leaving um, some areas of skippage. I'm not really sure why. Um, but it's a lot, uh, it's a lot better than it was. It used to be. So. Jake was uh, showing me screenshots and when we were doing a uh, multiplayer of, it was literally, it looked like it was leaving all of this uh, material still on the ground, but on my screen it, it looked just like this, you know, nice and clean, so um, now that I'm on a dedicated server I don't actually have to, ha like I can test, like I'm the one playing in multiplayer, so uh, it gives me a little bit more control to diagnose issues. So these beans have like four more grow stages to go. They're on the first grow stage after planting. If need be, you know, on the last grow stage, we'll just go ahead and top them off. So. Oh, someone else is coming on. Either Jake or Athos. Not really sure anymore. So um, there was a updated bank mod that uh, was, you know, updated on the Giants mod mod hub page. Um, for the authentic releases and uh, they made some updates and it doesn't like every time I lease a field and then I unlease it it like puts planted terrain where the field boundaries are and it looks really weird so I'm not really sure what is going on I'm sure it works fine in single player but on multiplayer it's it's different but I, sh I, sh I should specify more specifically on survey 
on the server multiplayer because I have mods that work fine in multiplayer when I host, like off of my internet and off my saved game. But when it's on a server, I notice that there's a lot of um, issues occurring that normally don't occur when doing regular multiplayer. So that might be an issue of running a server. I'm not really sure. But as of right now, I every time I'm about to lease a field, I go in and I save the game and I import like all the files, like terrain densities and stuff like that into the map on my desktop and then I like save the map again and then if I unleash the field and it does that funky little terrain thing I'll just copy paste the terrain file, GRE file into the save game folder and re-upload it. So I mean that's the only way I've found to get around it because it occurs even with the new updated patch. Um, so I'll probably like show them a screenshot on the thread, the support thread to see if anyone knows what is occurring. So yeah, so Matthias is on, so So we bought two little fields, six and seven, that um, I was cultivating or uh, plowing in the last videos. I think we might plow up this grassy patch and use it for crops or maybe plant alfalfa here so we can get a little bit more uh, tonnage out of this little uh, area.
must feel like soil moisture of 70% shouldn't be the 100% yield. I think it should be a little bit lower than that. want 70% moisture in your soil because your combines will pretty much just sink, all your tillage would sink and get stuck. So I think I'm just going to rent an automatic bale stacker and just quick work of this little field. minutes worth of work and travel, not bad. Still have a thousand in the chamber, but basically a thousand dollars I'm just letting go so never mind not quite so then we're looking for um, I must not have the bell stacker so I'll just rent the big in-game one and call it a day so looking at bail stacking I'll just rent it for an hour. So, even on the server wall recording, we're getting nice, nice, uh, frame rate 60 frames per second so pretty happy with uh, the enhancements I made I mean all my clip distances are uh, you know extreme extreme viewing distance to see all that detail and even with the uh, crops crops also I extended the bubble out a little bit So it's always good when you can have a lot of detail in your map and really enhance it and, uh, you know, even have a decent frame rate. Like, even people, like, Mike's on a laptop right now and he says it's playing really smooth, so. So what I have to do is this B operating position. I 
nice thing about this one is I can pretty much hit a bale. However, I feel like. I don't like the low clip distance on these bales though, it's too, it's too, uh, too short. I think that's something they changed in the 1.4 patch. Jesus, I can't even see where that... to a full load here. Perfect timing, buddy. Just kind of finished up an onslaught of exams a lot at six weeks of exams six weeks of brutal hard exams and that just finished up um, uh, yesterday was my last one and I, I like went to bed at uh, like right after and then I woke up at five and then I just went right back to bed pretty much and then I worked on that v2 pretty early in the morning when I woke up and then I just went back to bed and woke up at like two in the afternoon again um, so I, I didn't really have anything planned for today that needed to be done so I just took it advantage of it and got some much needed sleep um, so my next exam is the week of, uh, of Thanksgiving so I have a little bit of time now to kind of like uh, work on a few other things, um, uh, like actually go outside and exercise and stuff, and then work on a few more projects I've been, that have been kind of like put away, haven't had any time to work on. Um, um, honestly, I'm getting pretty sick of my 2720 uh, uh, chisel plow. Uh, it's a great, it's a great mod. 
really enjoyed it put many many hours and acres on it uh, I'm sure everyone else has as well um, I really like my merger it works great now added some new functions I was trying to rewrite my LUA file a little bit to actually like switch belt direction um, that was an epic fail so I wasn't gonna spend any time working on it um, you know, it was just more of a headache than anything else so uh, for now it is what it is um, but I want to finish up I'm working on a land roller so we can instead of spraying everything for moisture we can just run it over with a land roller after we plant for example and that will uh, basically be the same effect as my uh, seed bed conditioners but um, it won't be a seed bed conditioner, it'll be a big uh, 45 foot land roller um, that we could just pull uh, around in the in the field after we're, after we're done planting or maybe like a grow stage in you can roll over your beans because I've seen some few farmers that actually like now I think it's a kind of a gamble like they run over soybeans with the land roller when it first emerges it, you know like I, I, I would think that you run the risk of breaking the stem at that point I mean it's still pretty flaccid depending on how early you get in the growth stage but I'm not really I don't really quite understand the um, the rationale or the science behind rolling uh, for example a soybean crop that already uh, you know has a little bit of emergence uh, maybe it's to get even a greater seed bed soil to seed contact um, Perhaps I'm, I'm not really sure and then I've I've heard people that also roll their corn um, when it's emerging as well, so um, other, other than that, I mean I, I think we could hit it after we're done planting and then after the first growth stage I think that'd be a pretty acceptable practice to, to roll the crops um, it won't cost us any money because um, you're not filling anything. It will just be um, like spraying, but without the sprayer. So, so I pretty much don't have to bring that. I thought I was going to get some kind of monetary benefit of bringing it back to the dealer, but there, there's absolutely none. So. So now I have to make a decision. I have to decide whether I'll move this over so Mike can. Do I like rent the telehandler or do I rent like a little T6 front loader? I haven't used that little New Holland in a while, and I really want to buy one. So I think we're going to rent it with the front loader and put a bail spike on it. So this is uh, 44 that Mike is uh, chipping away at. So I think I'll just drive along the edge here. And give him an opportunity to refill. He's at 50%. So like I said in one of the older videos, I uh, took out a pretty hefty loan, it was like 2.2 mil, bought uh, another, a second Patriot, bought some more land, paid off some debt. Oh, here comes Jake. Hopefully his stuff looks good. So I found out the issue with the, all the really bad recording is when I'd record it would it was still acting like a live streaming. I had like the lime the live stream activated, and so it was always like trying to like upload the video while I was recording. So it really like lagged out my game. 
And um, but the nice thing is it doesn't impact or affect the other players because it's based like I'm not hosting, so it's not based on my internet. So I can record all day long, and it won't affect any anyone else. Um, so that's one of the benefits of a server. Um, however, there there seems to be a little bit of issue with soil management. It, it almost seemed like. Um, the uh, moisture wasn't updating like I can't go into my developer tools and it, it like activated to rain like GS start rain like you can in single player or like multiplayer when you're hosting that's not even available uh, function in in um, so I'll let Jake handle that so here we are back in the shop uh, we have uh, our Wilson trailers, courtesy of Raphael. Um, switching all my doors over to the animation door trigger was a really great idea. Um, Here's Jake. No, he was there. Um, because the old 13 way of um, doing it really didn't work. And then uh, door garage door opener, courtesy of Abel. Um, he always has really realistic um, stuff. So what we did is we purchased this shed. Um, this is uh, Kramer J's old shed from 13. And then um, this old grain. This was the first thing. Um, this grain complex and the shed was the first thing I ever did. When I first started making this wind chaser map um, in 13, it was very primitive. It was based off the Ben's North uh, map. A uh, really great map. I really loved it. Um, big fields, big hilly fields, but you know, it was it was um, it, it had a lot of potential, and so I kind of like seized that opportunity. And um, basically, it's a completely different map now. But uh, initially, in thirteen, when I started, all I did was add chop straw, added soybeans, and then I put in a um, did, I don't know what he's talking about. Did a little bit of. I, just, I think I'm gonna go ahead and. I want to see what's available in stock equipment. T6. I'll rent that for like an hour. So we pretty much burned up two bales worth of, in rental fees. Or two two to three bales worth. You know that's like twenty four hundred dollars we've burnt up and re and renting equipment to help us actually like get get our bills so overall I think we're still doing very well um, where's the front so we might as well just go all and then I wonder how this will function we'll just rent that for two dollars okay and if this is a total pain we'll probably just go rent a tell handler and our robots bail for it so I, I haven't used uh, this little guy for some time so I think this has a lot of potential to be scaled a little bit bigger and turn into like a T7. time I used the in-game tractor. So what do we have here? We have Increments of three, three, two, four, four. Thank you. 
I think there needs to be a little bit more friction. Look at this bell just slide. I'm not sure I like that. <laughs> this is no telehandler in Robert's bail for it, that's for sure. I just don't know why they don't make a little bit more static, like, more friction on the... ...bail spike. Yes, I'm not really happy with that. I'm just gonna run something else because that's not very good, so... Turn vehicle. Turn vehicle. Turn vehicle. And then I'll just go to rent. I must not have a loader pack in here. Right. Alright, so this should go. Quite a bit smoother. Maybe. Mm, Lieber. Lemur. Heber. Lib Liber. Okay. Wow, this is like mad sketch. scary. You 
know, stacking bales is always hard, but when you're on multiplayer and you're at the mercy of the server, it's it's like beyond difficulty hard. This is actually a relatively easy thing to do in real life. I mean, I've stacked plenty of bales uh, using front front loaders before, so. I, am, I would almost rather, and like, I've used skid loaders before to consolidate bales, and big round bales, big square bales. It's actually really fun. In game, in game, it's just not nearly as like it's not this hard. So good thing they're spraying moisture because we're about to lose a lot of it with the sunny weather here. I was really hoping that tractor would, would work out the way I wanted it to, but it's just not very good, so... Kinda killed my idea of buying that in the future. Yes, finally. Vehicle was returned. Return the vehicle. Vehicle was returned. So we got a pretty decent fleet going right now. So. Lock load. Okay, so we're new vehicles. We bought mowers. Other expense, sixty thousand. I think that's our expense for our herbicide, and uh, we did uh, triple A herbicide or uh, double A herbicide and sixteen.
which uh, is already like a pretty, it's like on its second or third grow stage. So we put down uh, the really expensive herbicide to kill weeds and prevent further. Whereas all the other fields were putting down the cheaper single single letter herbicide to uh, prevent prevent uh, growth. So we got a pretty decent load of bales, 3, 6, 9, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21. So hopefully we're looking at close to 30,000. In income, which will help cover the cost, or half the cost of our mowers we bought at least. So. Uh, once we get into harvest mode on 20, we'll we'll pay off of a lot of equipment. We'll probably buy a merger and a bailer off of the profits too. So. Seven thousand. Big old PJ Gooseneck.
<laughs> so he's doing work. So I asked him to turn on the seed bag conditioner so it's putting down moisture to compensate for the um, cultivator. So over here uh, we have field 10 that's planted as corn. We bought uh, these two fields here, 6 and 7. We own 16. That's old soybean. We own 11 and 12. Those are beans. Uh, 15 is corn. Um, uh, 20 is alfalfa. 44 is canola. Something different than 27, 28 back there. And then 24 away back there on the west is soybeans too. <laughs> so he's doing work with the tiger mate. So this glance mod is really nice. It shows you what people are doing, like spraying, cultivating, spraying, or just cultivating, and what they're spraying or what they're planting. So it keeps, you know, everyone on their toes. You know, because, you know, things happen, like you change or you change, so you hit the wrong button, all of a sudden you're planting the wrong crop, or you're not spraying, or you're spraying the wrong nutrients and stuff like that, so. The Glance mod is uh, really, really great. Uh, it's up in the corner out of the way and you can like, you know, hide it as well if you want. Anyways, I think we're just going to head on back to the farm here and call it a night on my, for my task. Everyone I was out cultivating and and uh, uh, spraying. I just bailed that little field to get some money. Uh, mostly to uh, test out the merger. But Jake's still spraying.
pretty much done over here. Jake is, where's Jake? Jake's doing 44. Um, pretty much all these fields are pretty much toast and nutrients, so when we buy them, all you can really do is cultivate in the crop. But uh, the fields we own now, uh, we're still leasing 44. Um, you can't even see what's. Uh, we have a decent balance right now, but other than that, thanks for watching.